everyone, we're back! Um, wait a minute, what? I can't run. Didn't do it again! They haven't- they didn't fix that glitch. Game developers! I should be able to save my control settings. Apparently, I cannot save my control settings. This is a problem. Especially when you're trying to record. I hit you, bitch. Are you not gonna come after me? I'm over here! Hey, lady! Hey, lady! What? It vanished? Uh, uh, excuse you. Hey, lady! Oh, I think I have a yell button? I don't remember there being a yell button in the first game, was there? Yell button, yell button. Q. Thank you. This way. This way. Hey, bitch! What?! Oh, fuck right off. Rude. Rude! I know what I'm doing. Come at me! Shut up, lady. You shouldn't be here. I can be whatever the fuck I want, lady. You just try and fucking stop me. Get in here. Sup, bitch? Rig around the room, Z. Picking up some stuff, fees. Uh, I don't know how to ram with the ashes. What's that? No, I want my screwdriver. It's a better screwdriver. Where are you at? Where are you at, Andrea? I think I looked out when I did this on the demo. It was much easier. Okay. Andrea. No, like seriously, where's she at? <laughs> okay. Hopefully she doesn't heal. While they're wandering around the house, I am here, working my ass off. That scared me. I was like, ah! Oh no, she was in there. I think. I need to get behind her, because apparently you can sneak up on her. I've yet to do that. <laughs> Okay, it looks like she's going back to the sewing room. Should be able to sneak up on her from there. Yes? Did 
Does she not go back to the sewing room? It's all their fault. I'm listening. She's not going back to the fucking sewing room. Oh dear. Well, that makes everything harder. Because I was hoping I could sneak up on her. Apparently not. Alright. Okay. Hey, bitch! Whoa. Drawing an enemy is completely different. It's supposed to cue to make yourself heard by nearby stalkers or use a diversion to surround them. Well, they're wandering around the house. I this way! Here. Hey, bitch! Hey, bitch! Come here! Mammy, mammy, come at me, come at me. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Sure I can. Just watch me. Here I am, running forever. Oh, I have a portable radio. Cool. Anything in here? What's that? A carrillo burler. <laughs> cool. Can I have something I can throw at her? That'd be nice. Ooh, I can throw a bottle. Wait, what? What are you doing, crazy lady? Oh, I missed. <laughs> Bye, bitch! Where are you? Don't worry about it. This is fine. Okay, you know what? Just fucking kill me. Oh, uh, oops. I forgot the button to hit! <laughs> My bad. It's like, oh, I'm hitting the right button. Oh, wait, no, I was button mashing the wrong button. Oops. My bad. She's really not that scary. <laughs> She's really not that scary. Ring around the Andrea. <laughs> sure I can. Just watch me. Do you not know who I am? I am Scarlet. Oh, she got me. <laughs> See, I'm hoping if I just smack her around. Now that's a shovel. That's not gonna work. Hi. Where do you think you're going? I'm looking for something that I can throw at you, woman. Okay, you know what? Just grab me. I have a defense item. Just grab me. Just do it. Surprise! <laughs> um, I'm stuck. <laughs> Bam! Not today! <laughs> oh, um. Oh, never mind. She's dead. I was gonna say. Oh, I got an achievement. Uh, can I take this? Thank you. What? Oh, right! I forgot I had to do it twice. <laughs> Shit. I need a defense item. I need a defense item. This is fine. 
I know there's a shovel over here I can use. Give me this. I'd also rather like to have something I can... Hi, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Okay, bye! I think there's a cup in here I can throw at her. I think if I stun her, maybe I can stab her? Thank you. Also, it appears the stamina is glitched out again because I can run forever. <laughs> oh, game, you janky. Game, you hella jank. <laughs> Stop! What? Okay, I was hoping I could just attack her. Apparently not. Okay, you know what? Just grab me. It worked last time. No, no, no. I said grab me. Grab. Grab. Thank you. Get him! Bam! <laughs> Oh, uh, she's not dead. Um, I need a defensive item! <laughs> Help! Help! Butter knife, it works. This works. Even though butter knives wouldn't really attack much. Uh, but still. Hey, right, come here! Come attack me! Come grab me! Where are you at? I don't need the thing with the stuff. Okay, go away. Oh. Oh, I could have snuck up on her there. You're fine. Okay, Andrea! No, don't hit me. I said grab me. Grab me. Grab me. Thank you! <laughs> Stabby! Can I have the keys now? I have things to do. Okay, cool. Give me the keys. Thank you, and uh, bye. <laughs> now I can finally get onwards to uh, doing things that I haven't done yet. Alrighty, so okay, bye. A fall that that didn't look like it was that far of a fall. That shouldn't have killed her. It probably just knocked her out. If anything else, which does explain the beginning of the game. If she woke up in like a random basement somewhere. Achievement unlocked. Regret. I'm just getting all kinds of achievements right now for some reason. Boop. Some years later. Well, we've all seen this cutscene during the demo portion. But once this cutscene's done. With the body of Richard Felton, a well-known notary was found burnt in his own home. The man who was legally registered as Jennifer Richard Dean Felton and was found completely drenched in kerosene. He's not a the man. I mean, he could be a trans. They could be trans. I d they never explained in the first game if Jennifer slash Richard actually identified as male or non-binary, or if it was just purely the fact that his parents, their parents, forced them to present as male. Anyway, it'd be nice if you have more trans people in video games that weren't the villains. Oh, I can control this. Uh, I couldn't control it last Missing. time. February 8th, 1971. Celeste Felton, mm -hmm. 13 years old. Beloved adopted daughter of Richard Felton and Ariana Gallo. You ran away from home, isn't that so? Why did you end up in this godforsaken place? Yeah, and if she was missing, how did she end up here anyway? <laughs> Assigned by Flemington Institute to the Foster Home and Work Project at the Ashman Inn, 1973. Ah! Jennifer, just over two years older. Unknown parents. It's you, isn't it? Celeste Felton. What did I say about yes. Celeste, Mr. um, the Reed. Celeste, uh, Jennifer? I can remember Jennifer's name, or the Celeste's name, relative? but... What did I say? Like what did I say about them being the same person? I mean, it's not technically confirmed, but you know. Please come in, Miss Reed. Come in. Don't be afraid. I don't fight. Uh-huh. 
what is real? Pardon me. Good evening, Mr. Ashman. You've certainly come a long way. You have gone from simple larceny and battery all the way to homicide and arson. Are you here to broaden your resume? Do you remember me? I'll never forget a face. Maybe because I don't have one anymore. Dun, dun, dun! That's where the, this is where the demo caught off right here. I know exactly why you're here. The same exact reason why that son of a bitch Felton ended up like cooked meat. What about him? What mm. ever happened to Celeste Felton? Yes. I have here a dossier from the Flemington Girls Institute granting custody of 15-year-old girl Jennifer and certifying that she is to be a housekeeper at this hotel. And she's Celeste, Celeste Felton. Felton and the girl in the photo are the same person, aren't they? That girl was simply an orphan, a homeless nobody. And so I decided to take custody of her. And she just so happened to be the adoptive daughter of your former hated business partner, Felton, by pure coincidence? Mm. I don't buy it. So, you're saying that besides synthesizing pharmaceutical drugs and spreading diseases, Mr. Felton and yourself were all dedicated ah, you didn't to say Professor Wyman. <laughs> It was never about synthesizing a disease, because the disease never existed. Excuse me? And the moths? Did this son of a bitch, pardon my language, but did this son of a bitch just imply that PTSD doesn't exist? Because the drug they're talking about is a drug for PTSD. Saying the disease doesn't exist says PTSD doesn't exist. And as somebody who has PTSD diagnosed, it's some bullshit. Okay. Woken up at last. Oh, Jesus! Hey, hey. I barely Calm touched down. her. It's just a bad dream. No, it wasn't a dream! I found you at the bottom of the stairs. You hit your head and lost a lot of blood. It was as if you were dead, Jim. Andrea went crazy! You must eat or drink something, young lady. She wanted to kill me! <laughs> That's not possible, Jennifer. Andrea was with me. Bullshit! Drink up. They're drugging her. Did you just force her to drink? What I saw. Do not force Everything people to drink is all right now. Calm down. Does telling it's somebody to calm down ever work? Man, he had... Strange wooden stick shaped like a spine. Porcelain. That man is dead, young lady. Porcelain? No, I, I saw him. He was the one who pushed me down the stairs. You called him Wyman. That thing is no longer Professor Wyman. Andrea! That man is dead and has been for a long time. Bullshit! He hung himself. You see? Bullshit. You were just dreaming. Bullshit. I. 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 I I don't understand. Jen, you have to calm down now. Fuck you, Lynn. You believe me, Lynn, don't you? She doesn't believe you at all. You She's the worst me, friend. Right? She's the worst friend. <laughs> all of you get the fuck she out of here. She should get some rest now. <laughs> I still don't like Lynn. Jen, if you need anything? Fuck off, Lynn. I'm here for you. No, you're not. <laughs> You tried to get me kicked out, lady. You are not here for me. A few months before. Oh, now we're gonna get an explanation Tell of what happened. Goodbye, party first for my Did they have headsets like that me, back then? Pretty sure you miss me. No. You fly, Cigarettes are bad for you. God damn it. Listen to me. Excuse me? Uh, are you new? I suppose so. Huh. I love that song. Where are you from? Flemington Girls Institute. What did you do? That <laughs> rude. What do you mean? If you get transferred here, it means you are a real problem. Listen, I'm not up for making conversation. Oh, well. 
I'm sorry, I guess. I was hoping so you're a real we would problem get to too. know each other better. That's all. Mm-hmm. I'm into illegal organ and drug trafficking. In my spare time, I exchange sex for cigarettes. <laughs> nice. <gasps> wow. I was expecting more like controversial political activist, promoter of black slavery and preservation of the Aryan race. What? Only in my spare time. Very well. You're right. I'm a real handful. Now, if you will excuse me. All of that was lies. <laughs> I, I don't see any of that being true. She, said, she, she reminds me of me. <laughs> the pleasure was all mine. Yeah, okay. something in the sky. So, who's the next stalker gonna be? Or is it gonna just keep going flash, like flashback, forward, flashback, forward, flash, really forward, flashback? <laughs> Hi. Hi, Lynn. How you doing? Shit, they drugged you. Listen, of you course have to they leave. did. You have to get away from this place. This story again? Everything you said before. I believe you. Porcelain and everything else you saw. You heard Andrea. He. Great, he I'm drugged. Years ago. Of course I'm drugged. It's him, isn't it? Professor Albert Elias Wyman. The same walking stick you were talking about. See? Oh shit! It was all an act. There was no body. And if there had been, it wouldn't have been his. I don't. I don't understand. Where did no she get that? Explain. They know who you are. They know. They know that you're Celeste Felton. <gasps> Gasp. Wait, is this an escort mission? What are you talking about? Why didn't you ever say anything to me? I tried to warn you. I tried to, to get you to leave, but you never understood. For fuck's sake! Lynn's gonna get killed. Hey, who do they think I am? Celeste Felton. Oh shit! Me? No, uh, I don't know. Uh, oh God, Lynn, I can't remember. The drugs. They gave her that found you in fake PTSD drug to use you. And now that they are sure of who they think you are, you have to run. Fucking hell, Lynn! Just tell me. That drug. The disease. What does that have to do with me? Your birth mother. She used loads of it. You got it from her. Oh. It's, it's a part of you. Your organism hasn't shown any side effects. Your body lives in harmony with it. You can even control it. Oh, shit. They know it. Look me in the eyes, Jen. Look at me. You mustn't do anything or trust anyone. What about you? Is this the reason why we met? Have you been pretending to be my friend this whole time? No, Jen. It had nothing to do with this. I've always been honest with you. How did you break Lynn! the arm then? Lynn! Oh, God, no. Not again. Okay. Uh, my head. Uh. <sighs> The moth perceives the presence of a possible threat to her throne. The fuck? She does everything. I can't move, and my hand is glitched into the floor. Is capable of to maintain control over the others. <sighs> Therefore, eliminating the threat. Okay. <laughs> Is that it? My screen's going wibbly wobbly a little. I don't even know what my save points are. They were mirrors in the first the game. It's coming from Ashman's office. Mirrors in the first game were or the um save points, but okay, there's a hide spot. Uh, that's another hide spot. This is a very open room. I don't like it. I'm gonna take that. Open rooms seem bad. What's that? Oh, a moth key. 
I still don't know what those do. It's some sort of collectible. Lynn is going... I'm like 99% sure Lynn's going to die. Like, I am pretty convinced Lynn's gonna die. Oh, vending machine. Oh, there's a moth key in it, okay. <laughs> Anything in here? No? Okay. I'd rather like to have a defense item. It'd be nice. What the f oh, it's an icebreaker? Okay. A bottle. I'll take that. Oh, I forgot I have my I have my old inventory still? They didn't take my stuff? I am actually kind of surprised. I thought Lynn went the I'm other sure way. Of it. I can hear it ringing behind the door. Oh, this is a bad idea. Oh yeah, key. Something bad is going to happen the moment I try to get in, or the moment I go in there. Okay, a basket. But wait, if Andrea wasn't chasing us. It's locked. Oh, there has to be another way. Okay. And the blah 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 blah. Find Link. I'm gonna find the keys for the manager's office. Go to room two eleven and find the keys for the manager. Okay, so I have to go to room two eleven. Slowly. Okay. I still kind of want to know how I was triggering infinite stamina glitching. Because <laughs> I want to do it again. <laughs> uh, I have a feeling that when I go up here... Andrew's going to attack me. Because this seems to be Andrea's area. That's 212, so... Wait. Did they relock 211? No, it's 213. Where's 211? Oh, it must be on the other side. Okay. Uh, no, Andrea. Okay. She walks a little slow, which is a little annoying, but I sort of get it. That's the laundry room. So this is 211? 211. Ashman, he's sleeping. I'll have to be as quiet as possible. Ashman's my next fucking stalker, isn't he? <laughs> Of course the key is right next to him. He's gonna attack me when I leave the room. He's gonna attack me when I leave the room. Oh. Uh. Or not, I guess? Okay. That was a little sketch. Still in here, Andrea, which is a good sign. Okay. I think I'm gonna end the video once we get towards the um, phone, because it's about that time. And I have a sneaking suspicion. Wait a minute, did I do it? Oh my god, infinite stamina! Hell yeah! <laughs> I don't know how, what is triggering that. <laughs> But. Alright. Door open. And that's gonna be it. You kind of look like you're high there, Celeste. AKA Jennifer. 
your little mouth gaping open. Okay, my name is Scarlet Teenager, and I have been playing some Remothered Broken Porcelain. I'll see you all!